just want to say thank you so much. Like, I really appreciate you, you know, bringing us out, um, you know, the hospitality, first of all. Like, I really do appreciate it. Our pleasure. And, like, you guys have been very kind to me as well. So, like, yeah. you know, the least we can do is, like, hang out and have a, have a good show. Yeah. yeah. No, I appreciate it. You guys put on a freaking killer show. What has your journey been as a musician? Like, you know, how did you start? Who are your influences? Oh, okay. You know? I, well, I started playing guitar essentially because my mum my mum played guitar and then um, when I was like eight she was like oh you know like I'll show you how to play so my mum taught me how to play like real basic stuff when I was young and then after that it was um, discovering Metallica our, um, uh, me and Asin Lucas went to school together and uh, our art teacher would play Metallica in, in the classroom and I uh, remember being like who's this? Yeah. Oh, Metallica this band so I discovered, discovered that and then that was kind of my journey into uh, you know, metal, hard rock, whatever you want to call it. You know, like I kind of, I feel like I had like a similar like upbringing too, like even like as a musician, right? Like it was, it wasn't until like. I think it was like around like seven years old when like, I, picked up the, I picked up this like little guitar that had a, I don't know if you ever saw them, but they had like the speaker. The speaker under the, the strings. Spe- yeah, yeah, exactly. It had I the speaker that. underneath yeah. the strings. Yeah. And I remember it just sounded so bad. Yeah. I was like, I was like, you know what? Like this sounds really bad, but I love playing it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like you could put me on, the, you put a string on a broom and I'd still be happy. That's the most important thing though, you know, you got to enjoy it. Cause like you could have the best gear in the world and like if you don't or if you don't enjoy playing then what's yeah. the point you know? it's true and he does have the best gear in the world he's got a speaking of gear yeah yeah I saw that you uh, now are rocking with the PRS I am I'm now uh, yeah officially rocking PRS guitars which is uh, again another dream come true I never thought I'd like be a, a guitarist who would you know work with the brand so closely but the guys at PRS are really nice and they've um, accepted me into the ranks which is really cool and, yeah. that, that's probably like a new like a new level you're probably feeling like yeah so. yeah honestly it's like you know when, like, when you pick up a guitar, it's like when you start a band, it's in the back of your mind being like, oh, I'd love to be, you know, one of those guitarists that, you know, yeah. gets a signature guitar one day, and, and you know, I know there's no plans for me to do a signature guitar or anything, but you know, it's definitely the first step on the uh, on the ladder to get. You know? Right. Yeah. Do you feel like you felt the transitions happen in real time, or was it just kind of like all of a sudden you woke up and you're like, like, holy crap, I made it, you know? The thing is with our band is, is we've we've never been handed anything, you know, like we really work really hard for everything that we do and um, for some bands it, it's a, a, another way where like overnight it's just kind of like a big a big explosion but I think for us we're very lucky in that like we, we grafted really really hard we work, worked a lot to get to where we are and you see the progress you know I was never very much like I have to use this specific brand or all this specific type of thing um, Oh, yeah, and then like I had the, the full DMI suite to turn up one day and I tried everything and like yeah. the, the fret button specifically that's, changed the game. Man. Yeah, honestly, that's it's so good. It's so, honestly, it's a game changer for like, yeah. Just, my guitar just feels so good and smells so good as well afterwards. Right, you know? it's like that vanilla, that yeah, vanilla scent. It's yeah, it's great. I really appreciate you, know, you and, and the rest of the band allowing us to kind of, you know, jump in for today and be able to get some content, be able to talk to you guys. Like I said, it's the least we can do, you know, like you guys make amazing stuff and, and I'm more than happy to like just host you guys for like, you know, have me be part of the family, so I do appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, no, I, I appreciate that. And the next time you guys are on tour is when? Um, in the US, yep. technically January, we're here January 24 um, for a headline tour, all across the states, everywhere, um, it'll be on our Instagram or whatever you want to call it, but, yeah. right, January yep. 24, January. check it out, thanks guys. <laughs> dude, good job man, you guys killed it, oh cool man, good, 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 good dude, oh, you how do you feel, it's over, it's over, it's over.